Good morning. I thought I would just upload a quick video with a little introduction about our sew along. So we, I, I have pre-recorded it and cut it into multiple parts. Um, that just makes it easier for people to fit into their lives, but it also means if you don't get a chance to do it, that's fine. And if you need to come back and have a look at certain parts of it, um, then you, you know, that's really easy for you to do as well. I will be uploading it to YouTube as we go um, and put it in a playlist there as well with a few tags and things like that. So if you need some help with the French seams, for example, um, then that's an option. Um, I am using our beautiful Joanna mini scale in cotton twill. Now, out of all your woven options, cotton twill is very forgiving. It, uh, I don't use many pins, which you will notice through the videos. Um, by all means, use them if that is what makes you more comfortable. Um, and the, the pattern may ask you to pin where I haven't. I've been sewing for a really long time and uh, I also, I don't aim for perfection. So for me, I, I was just saving time and being a little bit lazy, to be honest. Um, but feel free to use pins, especially if you are using a, a rayon or a muslin or something that moves a little bit more. Um, you'll also notice that there'll be some steps that I talk about pressing, but I haven't actually pressed it again it's really forgiving so for example when top stitching or um, under stitching the pockets I didn't really need to um, but then when it comes to other things like the French seams it's really important so you will notice a few things like that um, and I haven't worried too much about I've talked about it but I haven't worried too much about my own techniques because we all develop our own techniques um, so it's split into four parts, the um, pockets, so that's really quick, um, adding the pockets. I've done the hip pockets, but the method is very, very similar. So don't stress too much about if you are doing a different option. The bodice is the next step, which I have done a front opening round neck. The back opening, is the same um, and I have done it with a facing so that's the main difference is I don't talk through the binding around the neck however I am binding the arms so if you wait until we finish the arms then you will be able to see how I do the binding um, and do I have one more thing to say oh just if you've got questions just ask in in on the video, post in the group, message the page. Please don't message me personally, but um, the whole team is around to help. Um, a, a lot of our team have made kinjalings before, and if not kinjalings, we have made lots of um, woven dresses. So um, this is a really easy um, pattern to follow and it's something that you um yeah that you it's a it's an everyday dress up to a dress up dress so it's a really great one to have um in the wardrobe now I am making a child's one um for a number of reasons um as you will know I have made bigger ones before I'm making it 95 percent with the sewing machine I have used the overlocker to finish a few of the seams but you can use the sewing machine or pinking shears to do that as well um, and the pattern does talk through that so just remember when you're watching the sew along it's always handy you have your pattern out as well as listening to what i'm talking about you won't see me in the sew along it is mostly just looking at the sewing machine and the fabric in front of me um, so i know that that's not necessarily how everybody does their sew alongs, but um, it was just easier for me to just set up my camera in one position. So if you have any um, questions, you can even comment here, you know, if you've already started cutting it out or if you are already at a point where you um, 
you know, you're on to the next steps, totally fine. Um, comment here below. Otherwise, each time we upload a video, um, you can always ask questions there. So I'm really excited for this. This is my technically my first online sew along. Um, but you also kind of get to understand my teaching methods because this is um, whenever I do teaching, this is sort of how I do it. So um, I really hope that you all enjoy it. I hope you love your conjilings. Remember for anyone making adult um, dresses for yourself that they are, it is a loose fit pull on dress. So um, you might put, a lot of people kind of put it on and feel like it's quite big. Um, that is where the ties really come in handy and they are really easy to add to your dress. And um, if it's your first dress and you know, and you're using cheaper fabric or whatever, that's totally fine. Um, you don't have to use tellery fabric, but if you, um, you know, if you need help with sizing or anything like that, we are absolutely more than happy to help. Um, so yeah. I really hope you enjoy it and um, cannot wait to see everyone's finished kinjarlings.